happy Thursday and happy Facebook Live time. Welcome to this episode of Treehouse TV here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I've been a demonstrator for over 18 years now and I am addicted to paper crafting. <laughs> I admit it. <laughs> and I know I'm in really good company with a lot of wonderful women, so, and men. <laughs> um, Yay, hi Gail, good to see you here. I see people joining in. So I have a lot to cover tonight. I've got announcements, I've got a project with the focal piece being made with ribbon. Now what does that mean? You'll find out, so, so excited to share. Um, I also have a giveaway and we're gonna take a quick look at the new in colors, um, which I'm super excited about. And um, I'm gonna do sneak peeks of the technique class projects at the very end. So make sure to stay to the end so you don't miss that part. Uh, super excited about this class. It's um, dry embossing with die cuts. That's the theme. Hi Linda, hi Lynn. I see people joining in. I know I miss names. <laughs> um, but I, I will, I will uh, notice you later. I will comment later. Hi Susan. <laughs> Yay, so good to see people joining in. <clears throat> All right, so let's launch right in with a few announcements. Hi, Pam. You love the new in colors? Oh, good. Me too. Thank you for sharing, Susan. <laughs> yes, that reminds me. Feel free to share this video with other people you might you think might enjoy it. Um, maybe they'll catch it before I get to the project demonstration. Yay, share. Tag friends. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so um, last week's uh, drawing was for the ice cream corner uh, projects that I made for some of the projects that I made um, and also for a little DSP sampler, designer series paper sampler. Thank you for sharing, Sharon. Hi, Dean. <laughs> Yay. Thank you for tagging people. I see people doing that. Yay. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, I did not announce it on Facebook yet, so I'm going to announce it now. Give me a drum roll in the background. <laughs> And the winner is Linda Knight Brady. Uh, Linda is off and on here, so hopefully she'll be joining us tonight. Um, and uh, Linda, you just need to let me know what your address is so I can mail you your gift. So uh, other announcements. Uh, you guys probably heard there's a clearance rack update that happened this week. It was earlier this week. So that means new items that are at deep discount on the clearance rack on the Stampin' Up! website. So definitely check it out. Those things tend to go super fast. Um, so check it out before you miss out. Um, and you probably also know that the annual catalog is retiring as of May 3rd. Um, so uh, that date is coming soon and items are available only while supplies last. So again, make sure to buy the things that you are interested in getting before they're gone. All right, so uh, let's see what else. One thing I like to point out is that there are some things in the catalog um, that won't be retiring, but if they're bundled, the bundle will retire. So um, I'm going to be showing something tonight, well, uh, sharing a, um, a bundle with you tonight that is a must-have. It's the bundle that I used for this upcoming technique class. Um, hi, Jean. Hi, Mary Beth. Yay. Glad to see people, see you guys here. Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, so everything, anything that's a bundle in the current catalog, this happens every year, is debundled. <laughs> Whether that's a real word, real word or not, I've made it up. So you get a 10% discount when you buy things at a bundle. So make sure to spy the catalog and make sure that there's no bundles that you um, that you uh, still need to get because you don't want to miss that 10% discount if you're going to get it anyway. All right. Um, my latest technique class, the Dry Embossing with Dyes technique class, is coming up. The live online event is on April 30th. Um, I have already sent the supply list out to those people who are already signed up. Hi, Laura Lee. <laughs> Yay. Um, and there's still time to sign up, but tomorrow, which is the 16th, is the last day to RSVP and sign up for this technique class and actually be able to get a, a project kit in the mail. So I, I need a lead time so I can send those project kits out to people um, in time for the class. So that's why tomorrow is the deadline. Uh, so make sure to sign up for that if you're interested because the live event isn't until the end of the month However, if you're interested in the electronic options for the class either just the live online event or the event with the PDFs that go with it um, Those you can sign up for um, up until well you can sign up for two till two days before if you want to be part of the live um, So uh, or three days before Tuesday the what would that be three days the 27th of April? That's when you have till Alrighty 
Um, okay, so prize giveaway, the prize giveaway today. So what I'm gonna give away is um, one of my technique classes. Now, as I just mentioned, there's a couple different ways you can get technique classes. You can get them with a project kit, which makes it super easy because you get all the pre-cut cardstock in the mail um, from me in a nicely packaged kit. Um, you provide your own stamps and ink and tools and all that good stuff. Um, but that's, <clears throat> that's the option that ends tomorrow. But there are two electronic options, as I mentioned, the live event only, which is just $10, or the electronic bundled option, which includes three things, the live online event, uh, a project focused PDF with the details about each of the projects that we've made, plus details about our quick reference technique page, and then a third PDF, which is a, a super comprehensive uh, tutorial focused on the technique with all the tips and tricks and anything that I pulled out of my head as I was experimenting and playing um, with the technique. Um, just I just kind of loaded up with everything uh, related to the technique that could be helpful in helping you do it. So variations on it, uh, different project ideas maybe that I've done, and I share photos there. So it's um, it's pretty robust. So what I'm going to give out is that bundled um, uh, option, and you will get to pick whatever class that you want. There are several um, on my website. So here is the way you win the prizes today. Um, you. Uh, Let's see, you can share, of course, uh, share this video, you can tag people, that gets you entered into the drawing. But um, the way, the other way is to use the hashtag, and I forgot to write it down, <laughs> but it's a short one today. It's hashtag, the letter T, the letter C, and then uh, give, G-I-V-E, and then away, A-W-A-Y. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Hashtag TC giveaway. And um, what you need to do is guess, so do t the hashtag and then say guess how many technique classes I have available on my website. So if you go to my website and you know, no cheating, so you can't do it now, you have to guess. <laughs> Some of you may know because you may have taken my classes before. Um, thank you so much, Mary Beth. She says my technique classes are awesome. <laughs> you are my, my favorite fan. <laughs> Um, well, anyway, you're all my favorite fans if you're fans. <laughs> but um, anyway, so let's see. So yes, yeah, so you have to guess how many technique classes I have on there. And to find it, just in case you want to check on your number later, um, you go to my website, www.melissascraftingtreehouse.com, and go to the Classes and Tutorials tab, and then go to Technique Classes Available Now. That's the option you want. I think it's like three down. Um, so you could scan and just see. Um, it's kind of like a little scavenger hunt. But in the meantime, guess how many technique classes I have on there. So that's a, a way to get entered. Use that hashtag. All right. So um, now I have a question for you to ponder, <laughs> um, which is a separate thing. So I have all these amazing baggies of card salad. You guys know several weeks ago I did card salad, a card salad party. Um, had to make four blog posts out of it <laughs> um, to, uh, because I had so many things that I had shared. But I still have tons more, and a lot of them are with things that are retiring, and it just makes me crazy that they're in these baggies, they're going to retire, and I want to show them off. So I have this idea of doing a, what I'm calling a card, sa card salad marathon. <laughs> like, maybe I go on every single day <laughs> and share, you know, maybe like a 15-20 minute video. Not like a really long one, like I do for these episodes on Thursday night. Um, and so I'm just curious. What do you think? This is another way to get entered in the drawing. So hashtag card salad marathon, either write yes or no, okay? Let me know if that's something you might want to do. Um, and if so, you know, you egg me on and that'll get me excited and enthusiastic and maybe I'll do it. Um, it will take a lot because, right, if I do something every day, that's a lot. But uh, I want to know, uh, know if you're interested. Okay, so I see people making guesses of how many um, Technique class, how many technique classes I have on there. So fun to see the, the, um, the things people are throwing out. So 10, I see 17. I think I saw a 9 to 12. <laughs> you can't give a range. That's not fair. <laughs> but anyway, you still get entered in the drawing. Um, it doesn't really matter whether the number's right or wrong. Just that you guessed. All right, so um, let's dive right in to the project. Okay, so the project today, like I said, how do you make a, a focal piece out of ribbon, all right? That's like the question of the day. You're gonna see the answer here. I'm sure there's other ways as well, but I'm gonna show you the one that I like. All right, uh, so um, before I paste the camera down, let me just show you this bundle. 
So the bundle um, uh, that I'm using for the Technique class is this Forever Fern. I absolutely love this bundle. This is a must have. Now I will say with the Technique classes, I do want you to know that even though I've used this, this is not the only thing that you can use. I designed the Technique classes to show you a range of different things you can do with, uh, with the Technique, um, with different stamps um, and different dyes in this case. Um, so you'll have a range of options and you don't have to use exactly what I use. Um, that's part of the fun. It just makes, you know, it stimulates creativity, right? That's part of the goal. All right, so let's face the camera down and we'll get started with the project. I see people commenting and saying that they love the Forever Fern. How can you not, right? It's leaves and gorgeous natural elements. It's just the best. I actually did play around with some things that are new to the, um, the catalog that goes live on May 4th. Um, and uh, I just didn't get far enough along to actually finish three projects with it. Now, um, but I will probably share those little, those projects in the class itself so people can um, appreciate uh, and see how to use some of those new products. I'm in love with some of them, by the way. All right, so I am actually um, going to plug me in because I forgot to do it, and so it might make a sound, so I apologize. <laughs> kind of an annoying sound. But I think you'll hear me a little bit better uh, this way with my mic, and I forgot it last week, too. I get so excited about being here that I forget to do this sort of stuff. All right, so I have a bunch of different things out because I'm going to show you a few different ways to, to do this. Um, I will say the reason why I got inspired to do this project was because I was looking at all the ribbons that are retiring. Not all these are retiring, but I was looking at all the ribbons that were trying, retiring and so sad. So I thought, I need to show off some of these retiring ribbons. Well, it turns out I'm probably showing off one. <laughs> But either way, it's a fun idea, and I don't know about you guys, but I have this big, huge container of ribbon scraps, and it's just like how you have cardstock scraps. There are so many, you know, what am I going to do with all these pieces of ribbon? So I'm giving you an idea today. All right. I'm actually going to be using the um, Brilliant Wings um, uh, dies for this, and they're a lovely set of, of dies. Uh, these are all of them, plus... This is the actual one I'm going to use today. So I want you to know that. I've showed these uh, a bunch lately, but I'm also going to show variations with the dog punch, which is retiring, and with this large daisy punch, which I do not believe is retiring. That, I think, is staying current. And um, on one of the projects, I'm going to be using this Happy Thought stamp set, which is in the mini. It's not going to retire until the mini retires, um, which is the end of June. So we've got a little bit of time with this, but I love this set such a great versatile sentiment set. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this die and I'm gonna cut an opening at the top of my very vanilla piece of cardstock. And then I'm gonna dry emboss it using my Tasteful Textile embossing folder. I am, this is now gonna be my go-to because the Subtle 3D is going away. Uh, let's see, Loretta is asking a question. How would you use those dies in the Brilliant Wings that look like maybe some bricks? Well, that is a very good question. I've seen it on a few projects, um, but I can't say that I have uh, played around with it. And Loretta talking about that one right there. Um, it actually cuts out the brick shape, um, but I think you can cut it out of a larger piece and have it be a negative space. I'll have to play with it now you've given me a challenge. All right, so... <laughs> So I can use whatever shape I want to, to, op to cut out this opening, but you generally want it to be one that's going to give you enough of an opening um, so that you'll be able to see a lot through. You don't want a, a, a die or a punch that's super detailed. So these are the ones that I played around with. And I grabbed a piece of my gold foil um, to play with because the ribbons I wanted to play with are these whites and golds and you know, the metallics basically. So here's what we're gonna do. Grabbed a few of those ribbons. Now the one among these that's retiring is this gold uh, edge ribbon. 
and the silver edge ribbon. I have used these all the time. So these are really, I'm really sad they're actually going because they're super versatile and pretty. This one may even be sold out, this white one. Um, uh, and I know the bricks do look kind of weird, Lorley, I agree. <laughs> Um, this one, I, last I looked, was still available, um, even though it's retiring. So just word to the wise, don't wait if there's something that you want because it won't necessarily last. All right, and I forgot one little detail. I need some adhesive here. <laughs> forgot my adhesive. Let's grab some glue dots. Here we go. This will do the trick. So now... I'm going to spy my shape, okay? So for this finished card, I'm actually going to use this one that I've done off camera. So it's the butterfly and it's dry embossed with that tasteful textile embossing folder. So I could also use my flower. Um, but whichever one you use, you want to make sure that you're being strategic in the steps you use to do the, the thing I'm going to show you next. Okay, let's just get to it, Melissa. <laughs> Okay, let's start with a piece of vanilla, and I'm going to just put a glue dot out for each to get it started. Okay. All right, what about there? I should probably just done a row of glue dots. And I'm just going to attach my first ribbon. And just going straight across, but at a diagonal. Okay, next, this gorgeous uh, ribbon with gold flecks. That was part of the art gallery, or is part of the art gallery suite. And I also really wanted to use this ribbon because I've not had an opportunity to use it much, and it's just so pretty. I have a feeling you guys have an idea of where I'm going with this. Now, one of the things that I thought that I wanted to mention as I'm doing this is that sometimes when I design, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, I, my design is partly guided by sort of random things. So in this case, the random thing is the size of my silver glimmer, my silver um, foil paper. So I didn't specifically choose this size. I'll say it sort of chose me <laughs> because it just happened to be a size that was in, uh, in with my gold scraps and I just started working with it and there you go. Okay, so I need the other half of this piece of ribbon and it's going to go right here. So if it's not obvious, I'm basically kind of building a little bit of a background. Actually, let's do my black here next. I also love this ribbon, and um, fortunately, it's also not going away. And I think the black and the gold just goes so pretty together. All right, so each one of these is gonna turn out a little bit different, but I'm gonna just keep adding to this, and uh, I need my black one up here, and I'm gonna go all the way to the top. Let's do a little quick fast forward to the one that I've actually already done. Okay, so I've got a card body, and I've got a piece of black card stock that is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half, so it's just uh, got a little bit of an edge. I've got one that I've already got adhesive on off camera, so I'm just gonna attach that. Very subtle, but it's this is gonna be super dramatic because the ribbon is just so pretty. And then I'm gonna take my gold piece that I've got finished. So you see, I that's my partial one. And there's my finished one. Isn't that pretty? Just simple, right? You could do that with any ribbon. And I'm just gonna center it top to bottom and side to side. And I've got that really elegant, subtle 3D embossing folder in the background. I'm gonna use this until like, like as much as I possibly can. <laughs> so pretty, right? 
pretty and dramatic. Okay, so next I've got this piece right here and I'm just going to show you it because I want to show you some variations before I attach it. But um, that's just going to go right over the top. All right. Yes, very elegant. Thank you, Patricia. I agree. <laughs> elegant is the right word. But I want to show you um, some of these variations that I thought might be fun too. So I haven't dry embossed this one, but you can see that it would also look really pretty over the top of that ribbon. Um, I'm going to raise it up on dimensionals, but just to give you an idea of the look. And you can also see that doing the, the dry embossing adds so much texture to this piece here. So the other thing I thought of was I could turn it over and do my dog that way. So anybody who's a dog lover, what do you guys think? There's going to be a sentiment at the top where there would be. So yes, elegant dog. I don't know. Is there such a thing as an elegant dog? <laughs> Definitely an elegant flower, right? But I don't know about a dog. Tell me what you think of the dog idea or the flower idea. I thought it would be fun to just see what some other openings might look like um, with this design. Okay, so I gotta go back to the upright. And I do have this on a four and a quarter by 11 size card. Now, I, I also wanna tell you too, just from a design standpoint, just made me think of it with, um, the original inspiration behind doing this design was that I had seen a design using washi tape that did, um, no on the dog. <laughs> oh, and someone loves the dog. Oh, good. <laughs> That's always varying opinions. That's part of the fun, right? Um, and I agree, Daisy's better than the dog. But uh, just a fun alternative, right? You could pick a different color scheme, maybe some browns or something that might go better with the dog. But um, anyway, just ideas. So many different directions you could go. So where was I going? Um, <laughs> I'm reading your comments and getting distracted. Um, oh yes, the washi tape. So I saw a design where they had done this kind of thing with washi tape. It was different colors and patterns. Um, and it just looked really cool. So I thought, well, why not do that with a ribbon? I have so much ribbon sitting around. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach that. This has dimensionals on the back already taken off the backings just to make it fast and easy. And I have also um, heat embossed a sentiment to add to this for one final touch. So um, have a beautiful day is the sentiment. Now, for the life of me, I couldn't find where this sentiment came from because I got it from my card salad. <laughs> so I might even be a retired set. If anybody knows where this sentiment came from, please let me know. Um, yes, you like the dog and cat would use different color ribbon. Absolutely. I agree with you 100%. Um, yes, uh, uh, okay. Uh, somebody says uh, uh, you could do a dog sympathy card. Yes. Now, now this, so right, there's this big blank space here, right? But I'm going to add this beautiful showy little gold embossed element here, which was, like I said, in card salad. Isn't that super convenient? Um, and just attached to the front. So the question is, do I want it to be on dimensionals or not? No, I think I'll have it flat. I'm going to let all the dimension be in the negative space butterfly here. So I, you know, I have had so many ideas, um, like the dog, the flower, different color schemes as I was putting this all together. And, uh, you know, I think I said, maybe you guys missed it at the beginning. I am totally ad addicted to this craft, guys. It's like, I can never get enough. I just, and I, you know, I get distracted and I just do have to keep doing it. <laughs> That's what happened this afternoon. It's hard because I have to get work done too, right? Okay, so there it is. So it's pretty simple, but um, I just love, I just love the look. Just an alternative, fun way to use ribbon. So now I have another version I wanted to show you. So I promised that I was going to show you the in colors, the new in colors, and you might have seen them, but... I'm going to, uh, uh, actually, oh, there's another one in this little set that is retiring of ribbon. So this tool, this uh, is, is also retiring. It didn't quite go with my design. That might be better for the dogs, actually. Maybe with, um, I don't know, just because it's playful. So just a thought on that. All right, so um, I, showed you, I told you I would show you the in colors. So that's what we're gonna do next. Um, now, I am doing my product shares. I mentioned it last week, and I don't have information on my website yet, but I have shared the menu in my 
newsletter. Um, one of the shares is um, for the in colors, which will come with cardstock, the ribbons. I've got to take that one out because it's not part of it. Um, these wonderful um, in color jewels. Uh, there's designer paper, which I don't yet have because I forgot to order it actually. I'm sad. Found that out today. Um, and then there's uh, these colors come in uh, vellum as well. So let's introduce these colors. I have to get to know the names. So fresh freesia, <laughs> polished pink, the yellow just, I have to show it that way. Fresh freesia, polished pink, eventually I'll memorize these, pale papaya, soft succulent. You guys comment and let me know if you have a favorite. Um, I just think these are so pretty. I'm not usually one for sort of more muted tones, like, you know, maybe that, but I just, I love these and I love the ribbons. The ribbons are so pretty. So guess what I had to do this afternoon? Um, oh yes, the dotted tool, tool, is that what it's called? Would make the dog look a like a Dalmatian. What a fabulous idea, of course, of course, of course. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> All right. Um, so I made another project. I had to do a variation of this. This is where my addiction comes in. I couldn't help myself but to play with these in colors and show you another variation. So let's show you this real quickly. So for this one, I decided to use a white card body. Okay. And again, it's folded up the long way. So four and a quarter by 11. And I'm just going to quickly put this together and show you this alternative card. Again, I've got my subtle embossing folder piece, my piece uh, dry embossed already. And that's actually going to go side to side the whole thing. I didn't leave an edge. I just wanted the whole thing covered. Whereas with this one, I have a little bit of an edge if you can see it. Love this embossing folder. I think I'm going to go into a state of crisis when it's gone. <laughs> Okay, so now I've done the same kind of piece with these lovely striped um, ribbons. They're like an organza with a solid end, edge, edges, and um, the sheer inside middle. And that's just going to go right on the front. I made this a little bit bigger um, because I ended up using um, the daisy for this one. And I used a different embossing folder. And it is, I think it's called the Ornate Floral Embossing Folder. So this piece right here, so I punched out the daisy, did that first. Um, hi, Linda. Linda's on. Yay. And guess what, Linda? You might have missed it. You won last week's drawing. Yay. Congratulations to you. <laughs> Send me your, your address by... Um, by messenger, by my uh, Facebook messenger. Yeah, so I can send it to you. All right, so I punch that out. Now, if you do a die cut like I did with my butterfly, you'll want to do your die cutting first and then your dry embossing of this piece afterwards. Otherwise, you'll, um, when, if you die cut it afterwards, you'll smush some of the dry embossing and you'll lose some of that effect. This, you don't need to worry about it, of course, because it's punched out, so it's no big deal. Um, and yes, okay. Okay, so anyway, so yes, I love this one, and I figured it'd just be so pretty to go with the, um, with the daisy. So this is just going to go right over the top, and it looks like I justified it a little bit up. Did I? Oh, no, just because the color is up. Getting confused what I'm seeing here. I think I have to bring it down just a little bit. The white on white is messing with my eyes. Okay, so you can see I got all those dimensionals in the back. Very generous with my dimensionals. I want to make sure that stays up. And I'm just going to attach it. And you can see the color. The colors on the outside edge and in the, in the center of the flower. Just so pretty and festive. I thought this was very fun. And then I stamped in my... Um, Oh, I need my cheat sheet here. <laughs> my evening evergreen color, my thank you sentiment from the Happy Thoughts set. And I figured with this nice, bold 
daisy that a nice strong big sentiment would look really good and that's just going to go right there in the center so there is my new in color daisy card what do you think fun with ribbon huh i hope your ideas are just like you're reeling with ideas of all the ribbon you can use and the punches and dies that maybe you could use comment and let me know what thoughts you have on what punches maybe you would do that with um, this is just so fun and easy um, so I hope you really like it all right what else do I have for you today um, oh I did want to show you also this card I made a long time ago um, with ribbon so you can go a simpler route instead of doing the opening and just wrap different coordinating ribbons around um, a piece of cardstock. And so, of course, this is my adorable little three by three card. I love three by three cards. Just fun, fun and simple and super quick. All right. Um, watching your comments. Oh, Linda, you're really on it. You sent me your address already. Good for you. <laughs> I love it. Um, all right. So, um, just as a reminder, right? So I see people have been sharing and tagging, keep doing that. And the hashtag again, hashtag TC giveaway, guessing how many technique classes I offer on my uh, website. Um, and you will get entered in the drawing for, for guessing. And I hope that you'll be curious and you'll go and look at the actual number <laughs> and check out my technique classes. Um, those who take my classes know I put my heart and soul into them. <laughs> I love it and I love techniques as you guys I'm sure know. All right, and then the other hashtag was hashtag card salad marathon. Uh, yes or no, let me know if that's something that you um, would want me to do. I'm gonna turn the camera around and um, show you me. <laughs> um, and uh, I also got um, the sneak peeks, I'm going to show you what else do I have on my agenda that I might be forgetting. Um, oh yeah, just as a reminder, make sure um, that if you enjoy this video and you'd like to see future ones more easily and find them, um, there's a little bell in the upper right hand corner of the screen only when you're live. You can click on that and if it's filled in, it means you'll get notified um, when my videos go live. So it'll be easier to find. Um, yes, I think the in colors go well together too, Patricia. I agree with you completely. <laughs> um, I'm glad you like the butterfly card, Pam. Yay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, another reason to go to my website and look at my technique classes is because if you win, you'll get to pick one of the electronic classes um, from my page. So, um, all right. So, let's see. Uh, I know there's more than I'm supposed to be saying. <laughs> So next week, I'm planning on doing um, a product share show and tell. I'll show you the products that I have. Last week, I did an unboxing, but I didn't open up any of the designer papers, so I'll be showing those. Uh, so that should be super fun. I have another project um, in the queue. I don't even know how to describe it, um, but I used vellum on it. And um, anyway, that's the thing I'm thinking about showing. Uh, next week, so I have an, a fun project, another actually elegant project to show, share with you then. And okay, so I guess we are down to sneak peeks if you guys are ready. You guys ready? <laughs> um, gotta grab them over here. I'm gonna just flash them across the screen really fast. You can't get a good look at them because it's supposed to be a sneak peek. <laughs> and I don't usually do this. So um, usually, and if you, if you wanna see like little tiny sneak peeks, like partials of the picture, those were in my newsletter and they're on my website, but there are not pictures of the three cards that I have finished. And I ha like I said, I've done variations, so I'll be showing some other things, not just these in the class. Um, uh, yeah, and I have a, already a bag of cart salad for this class, <laughs> things I haven't used. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna flash across the screen. There's project number one. <laughs> this is fast, I'm trying to be fast. Project number two. I did a very soft color palette this time. Not really my usual style, but it just worked. Okay, here we go. Here comes number three. <laughs> All right, is that enough? <laughs> I hope you guys um, enjoyed seeing my quick little sneak peeks of the projects. Um, 
Like I said, I already shared the supply list with those who have signed up already and my team members who get the class um, for free. Um, if you sign up, uh, you know, from here forward, you'll still get the supply list, but uh, the information is coming out a little bit at a time. Um, and uh, my events are happening. Uh, the live online event is in a private Facebook group. So if you participated in last, uh, in the, let's see, what is February class, I have not yet removed people who, um, who took the class, but you will be coming out of that group soon if you don't sign up for this next class. Um, so the content only stays in there for the period of time that the class is live, uh, except for the photo albums where people share the things that they've made. So um, no, ma no matter when you sign up for a class, those albums will stay in there. And you get to see what other people made for the various um, topics of the classes. So uh, let's see what else. And the, the live online event is actually um, done in Zoom and streamed to the Facebook groups. So you have the choice to be seen in Zoom or um, to be more anonymous in Facebook. It's totally up to you what you do. Um, but I have to share that in my, I, I do a virtual online yoga class and my teacher always uh, at the beginning when she's saying hello to those of us that are online, because there are some people in person, she always you know, refers to Romper Room and Magic Mirror on the Wall, I see you. <laughs> So if you want to be seen, some people want to be seen, some people want to be more anonymous and are shy, um, but either way, whatever works for you is good. Um, but if you want to be seen, there's a way to be seen and to be part of sort of the class party because it was, it was really super fun last month or last in February. So I hope you'll consider signing up for, for the class or another class in the future. All right, guys, um, I think I've pretty much finished up uh, with what I wanted to share. I hope you guys enjoyed today's live and we'll come back same time, same channel next week um, for next week's Facebook Live. So um, have a wonderful, wonderful evening and weekend. Happy spring to everybody. It's a gorgeous day here today. <laughs> I'm just loving it. Um, we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Love you. Mwah. <laughs>